We are familiar with the image of an oasis in the Sahara Desert, of date palms and camels. But we are not in the Sahara. We're in the red centre of Australia where there are many oases. Fringed with lush palms, these spring-fed waters harbour a wonderful variety of marine life. In this relic of a wetter past, an echo of an ancient rainforest long since vanished, there's a wealth of animal life around the oasis. Our oasis is a Garden of Eden in an arid land, surrounded by red cliffs and a lush foliage of red cabbage palms, survivors of a wetter era. It's a permanent waterhole, fed by an underground spring that may have lain beneath the desert for a thousand years before bubbling up to give life to the oasis. Dragonflies always seem to be mating. Three pairs line up on one branch. The blue-coloured male grips the female's head with his terminal abdominal claspers. There's competition for the best perch over the water to copulate. This infringement of privacy must be very annoying. The interrupted pair choose another perch. Now the female slips underwater and bends her abdomen forward to receive his sperm from a special copulatory organ which lies at the front of his abdomen. An annoying competitor forces him underwater too while the female is laying her fertilized eggs. Either she is good at holding her breath or she's drowning. 